Hey guys, hope you've been doing alright. I'm back from my time away now, so I'll be able to whip out a few more videos this week when I can. This first one's coming from a subscriber again, same person who wrote up the THC induced cosmic horror report. So yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck right into it. Cathartic Thunder A Psilocybin Trip Report by Shane I recently saw a video on your channel regarding a trip between a father and son, so I thought I'd send you an extraordinary occurrence while tripping on mushrooms with my dad one night. One night in late July of 2018, I purchased about 5 grams of psilocybin cubensis mushrooms and split them between my dad and me, so about 2.5 grams each. Nothing too crazy. Started to feel the effects about 30 minutes after ingestion with increased visual acuity and heightened perception of colour. The come up seemed even more euphoric than usual, resembling MDMA almost. We decided to go back and hang out in the swimming pool while we came up. At the time we had LED lights inside and above the pool, so it was very interesting to watch while our visuals began to kick in. We also enjoyed looking at the stars. If you've never seen the stars in Psilocybin, you are missing out big time. It's one of the, if not the most visually remarkable things I've ever experienced. The sky seems to have much more expanse and depth, and the stars can sometimes be seen connecting to each other with lines of some sort. Sometimes they will even rearrange themselves and spin or dance. This is precisely what we were experiencing at this moment of the trip. Tripping with a family member, especially a parent, is a very deep bonding experience that I recommend to anyone if they ever get the chance to do so. We talked about everything, including our relationship and my childhood. But the interesting part occurred around the peak of the experience, approximately two hours after ingestion. It was at this time I started to feel an overwhelming feeling of emotion swell up in my throat, sort of like a mix between happy and sad. I was feeling especially vulnerable all the time, so I didn't feel hiding my emotions was necessary at all. Over the next 30 minutes or so, the feeling began to grow and grow and grow. It almost felt like a zit that really needed to be popped and it was only a matter of time before it popped itself. I remember an overwhelming feeling of appreciation came over me. For life, for my dad, for my friends and family. Simultaneously and paradoxically, a sense of overwhelming anguish coincided with this intensely emotional experience. I felt like something was about to break or explode inside of me. I had never felt an emotion quite like this before. This is when it all came out. Everything I had been holding on to for years. All of the pain, anxiety, numbness and depression that had been plaguing me since I was a child all came out at once. I welled up in an uncontrollable fit of sobbing. The kind of sobbing that makes a hideous face and an audible sound. All of these negative emotions I previously mentioned left me from what felt like every inch of my body out of the top of my head. It was the single most cathartic thing I had ever experienced at that point in my life. <laughs> but this wasn't even the strangest part. At the exact moment I released all of this pent up, decaying emotional baggage, an extremely low, loud and vibrating thunder sound came from the sky in all directions. It synchronised with my cathartic release perfectly. Recall earlier it was a clear, warm, summer night in July, with no clouds seen anywhere in the sky. When this happened, I knew I was cleansed. I was free. I felt like the grace of God himself had finally freed me from the shackles of emotional baggage that had been plaguing me. I was in absolute ecstasy. I remember thanking God and everything I believed in. 
Putting what I felt at the time in words is extremely difficult, but it literally felt like I'd been noticed and redeemed by an all-knowing being. I called my friends and cousins, talking in an ecstatic or even maniacal way. I'm finally free. Everything is going to be okay. I told them before crying and abruptly hanging up then calling someone else to say the exact same thing. As far as lasting effects from this experience go, I'm not sure what fundamentally changed in me. And obviously, my life wasn't magically better after this experience. But I did feel like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders for the entire year after that experience. This was one of the many profound psychedelic trips I've had. And at that time, I really didn't take the time to integrate before going into another one. If there's one thing I can recommend, it's to wait some time before tripping again. Take some time to meditate on the things you've learned during the experience. Do this every day and try to apply them. This is what proper integration is. And with that being said, that concludes this experience. I'll be sure to send more of them as they come. Peace.